so now the next thing we will do is to add a loop in background so for that in the 3d object option we will select this chord and we will name this as background image press enter and let's just reset its transform so as you can see it is showing right here now and let's just remove this mesh collider because we don't need that and now click on the sprites so this will be our background change this from clamp to repeat okay change the rep mode to repeat and then simply click on apply now our background will be in the repeat rep mode so now select the background image chord and simply drag and drop this spirit right here and let's change this shader to unleaved then change this to texture and as you can see the changes so now let's just resize our screen okay let's resize the background image so it covers the whole screen so as you can see it covered all of the screen and also we want to make this background image the child of the game manager so just simply drag and drop that inside the game manager now let's create a new script right here and we will name this as looping background image press enter and now let's just open this inside the visual studio and right here we don't need this start function so just remove it and right here we will create a variable which will be named as background speed it will be of type float and it will be a public variable after this the next one will be the background renderer it will be of type renderer and it will be a public as well then inside the update function we will say background renderer dot material dot main texture offset then we will type plus equals to new then we will use our vector 2 so for the x coordinate we will say background speed multiply by time dot delta and then for the y coordinate we will set it to 0f so now we can just simply save it get back to the unity and then select this background image and simply drag and drop the looping background image script to the background image game object now as you can see we have the options which we created the background speed and the renderer so let's uh, give the background speed a value for example let's just give it a 4 and in the background renderer let's assign it the sign the mesh renderer so you can just drag and drop that right here so let's just restart the game and as you can see the background is moving really fast okay so stop the game let's change the value to let us say 2 and now the speed is decent so our background is now completed